Hey, Disney fam. Welcome to another episode of Super Califragilistic Awesome Disney Podcast. I'm Chris, and today we are so excited because I'm going to be trying all of the most popular and unique snacks at Disneyland Park in California. Let's go. This is the cold brew black calf. So it's cold brew coffee topped with sweet cream cheese. And what they say are chocolate puffs. I'm here to tell you all, these are cocoa puffs all day long. Okay? So here we go. Let's give this a go. It's delightful. Everybody online is saying that saying that it's topped with sweet cream cheese is a little bit misleading because it doesn't taste like queen cream cheese and I agree it just tastes like cream so a sweet cream not a sweet cream cheese with the cocoa puffs I'm gonna try to get another sip with a puff my concern is that the puffs are gonna get a little bit soggy um, you want it to almost be like a boba ball so that you can enjoy it all the way to the end. I like the crunch, I like the cream. I'm a huge coffee fan, so I like it. Um, it's definitely different. So well done again, Docking Bay 7. Hey Disney fam, the next stop on our snacks tour of Disneyland is really the French market over here in the New Orleans Square area. So we're gonna go with a mint julep and a very creepy looking but delicious looking Haunted Mansion wedding cake. Look at all that blood splatter. So the mint julep first. That is so good. It is exactly what you want on a hot, hot day like today. It is, it is really like the, the lightest lemonade you've ever had. Because this is a non-alcoholic mint julep. And it is so light. It's just a touch of sweetness. Um, it's a touch of mint. A little bit of lemon. It's delicious. Okay, so the next stop is the Haunted Mansion Wedding Cake. So this looks like a white cake. I'm assuming a buttercream or cream cheese icing. Definitely buttercream. Um, and whatever all this, these blood and guts are. Cherry. That is so good. It is uh, this moist cake. This tanginess of these cherries just really are perfect. Look at that. All right, so the next stop on our snack tour of Disneyland is the warm Mickey beignets from the Mint Julep Bar. So still here in New Orleans Square. You might remember if you've seen our video, we tried to make these. They were delicious. I'm very excited to see what the real thing tastes like. There's a wonderful little dough ball. Look at this. We've got a hole in the inside. <laughs> That's his trademark, oh, a sig signature beignet. It's light, it's airy, it's doughy, it's sweet, it's, it's a perfect beignet. Okay, so the next stop on the snack tour around Disneyland is the Tropical Hideaway over in Adventureland, where they are serving a pineapple split sundae. Okay, so pineapples, two, you can get up to two types of uh, Dole Whip. You can get the classic pineapple Dole Whip, which we went here, and we also went with raspberry. This thing's got gummies on it. It's got macerated strawberries, blueberries, coconut. It's got um, mandarin oranges over here, and even has like dried banana chips in it. So, pretty excited about this. Just gonna do some raspberry here with a little mango and some strawberry. And here we go. Okay. Super duper cold. Super tangy. Super refreshing. But it, it hits something that I love in ice cream or ice cream adjacent type foods. Is I love different textures in there. And so you're eating this 
and you don't expect to crunch on those banana chips, which is very pleasant. So, uh, it's a little bit expensive at almost $30 with this lovely Jungle Cruise boat that you can get with it. But I'd say on a day like today where it's almost 90 degrees and you're on your feet all day, this is a worthy, worthy excuse to get off your feet and have something cold. So next we have the Tiger Tail from Bengal Barbecue. So here we go. This is a big massive breadstick with some uh, some cheese that has been griddled right on top of there. We're gonna split this guy open and see what we got on the inside. I don't know, is that just a luscious little brioche there? This tastes like um, focaccia. It's got the uh, got those focaccia herbs in there. Pretty dry, pretty dry. My uh, cohort here, Kelly, says that she felt like this should have come with a sauce, a dipping sauce of some kind. She's dead on. Something to compliment her, compliment, but it's a focaccia. That's what it is. It definitely needs something to take some of that dryness away. <laughs> okay, we're still hitting up Bingo Barbecue with our next thing here. This is the uh, Jungle Julep. This is non-alcoholic, and it mixes a lot of different uh, juices, everything from orange, guava, grape, a whole bunch of things in that sort of slushy form here, which again is gonna be perfect on a day like today. Tangy. And grape juice is underrated in these areas, I think. And it is welcome here. I like it. It tastes like a, a grape slushy, except there's a very citrusy hit right at the end. Very nice though. I love it. So lots of sweets we've hit today on these snacks. I'm ready for something savory. Right there in the tropical hideaway where you can get that, um, that dough split, that pineapple split. They're selling a whole range of bao buns. And so this one is the Moco Loco bao bun. It is a, just a doughy little, uh, gosh, morsel of dough here, uh, filled with spiced ham, ground beef, egg, and they gave you a mushroom gravy to go with it. I am so excited about this. Good. That is good. It's you can really distinctly taste the difference between that burger and the spiced ham. The egg, I think, is most just a binder. You don't get a lot of taste of that in here. But then this little doughy package just wrapped in is so satisfying to eat. <laughs> yeah, this is a winner. The, the bao bun area of Tropical Hideaway. Do not sleep on that. Lots of options over there. So we are rocking and rolling through our snacks tour of Disneyland. I don't know that I'm gonna make it through the day, um, but our latest stop here is at Jolly Holiday right on Main Street here. And we just had to try the um, Raspberry Rose Mickey Macaron, which is coming apart in my hands. This thing is very delicate, I can tell. It's got some sort of raspberry cream in there and legit whole raspberries. <laughs> here we go. We've never had a more raspberry or macaroon. The macaron is really soft and delicate, just like you want a macaron to be. It's falling apart a little bit. Might just be from the size or my club hands, maybe. But I was a little bit worried about the, the texture of the raspberries blending in with everything else. I was wrong. It's wonderful. And this cream just brings it all together. It's delicious. So good. Next is the Matterhorn Macaroon. This, this looks great. It looks like a maybe a coconut macaroon with some some vanilla frosting on top. I don't really know where to start eating it. 
but I'm just going to take the top right off. That is a A lot of coconut. It's a very um, chewy on the inside cookie is what it tastes like, feels like. But it is not too sweet, which I love. I'm a little bit worried about that. A lot of chew but not hard. It's just very chewy. Which is I like the I like the way it feels. I'm gonna go to the bottom down here. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like soft baked sugar cookie with a little hint of coconut. For $2.99, this is the best deal in the park for $2.99. What can you get at Disney for $2.99? This. Because we're apparently on the hunt to give me diabetes today. We're now going for the 66th anniversary cupcake. Available at Jolly Holiday. So... Um, the first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to take this little chocolate top off and I'm going to eat that because I love that. Chocolate is delightful. Okay. Try out some of this little stuff here. It's very pretty. Soft smooth buttercream it is so good okay so upon further review this icing up here is not just buttercream it also has some cream cheese uh, flair going on in there that gives it a really nice tang there okay so let's see what this thing looks like on the inside is that gray stuff does this have gray stuff in the middle? Oh, gee. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That is gray stuff, and it's delicious. Oh, gosh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I rescued it. All right, we're going to just try some of the cake here. Just destroying this cake. It's okay. It's all good. All God's children. That is a dark chocolate fudgy cake and it is moist, it is delicious. This is good. Okay, I'm so thankful that now on the snack tour we're going to something savory because I'm just about to, you know, my teeth are rotting out. So we went over to the Little Red Wagon because they had something very interesting over there. They had these hand dipped corn dogs but with something I can't believe they're coming out of my mouth, ketchup bacon. I love ketchup. It's really just, all foods are just a delivery mechanism for ketchup. And I love bacon. Why have we never thought about putting these together before? This is definitely a hand dipped corn dog because it might be the ugliest corn dog I've ever seen. But that's okay. You know, we, we do not discriminate against the corn dogs. So it's like maybe a little overdone, but we're, we're going to go after it here. Here we go. Well, all I got there was batter and breading. Okay. That's good. The hot dog in there is good. I don't know if it's Nathan's or what, but it's a good hot dog. Okay. As you can see, lots and lots of breading. Now we're gonna try it with the ketchup, bacon ketchup. So maybe there's some mayo in there too. So that effectively tastes like Thousand Island with some bacon in it. I've never thought about putting Thousand Island on my corn dog, but it's great. Let's see if I can just narrow down these flavors a little bit. 
Maybe a little bit more like vinegar in there. That's a thousand dollars with some bacon at it. I'm here for it. Not good. Hey Disney fam, we continue insanely on this tour of snacks in Disneyland Park, which ought to tell you something about the snack options because we're not even hitting them all. But we could not pass this one up. This is the Grey Stuff Gateau from the Red Rose Tavern in Fantasyland. Uh, it, this appears from the outside to be a big cute swirl of, of gray stuff on a shortbread cookie. But I think there's a cake inside here, so I'm just going to taste the gray stuff, you know. Do my due diligence here. It's, it's great. It's cookies and cream, buttercream. I mean, that's all the words you need. So I'm going to cut this thing open. Okay. As you can see, there is a sweet little heart of red velvet cake is what it looks like in there. And the whole thing sits on top of a pretty crispy there shortbread cookie, but okay, it came away, it's good. So I'm just gonna do this number, get a little bit of cookie, a little bit of gray stuff, and a little bit of cake all together. I can make that happen. There we go. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had these all the time growing up. The little butter shortbread cookies that were like hearts and they had a hole in the center. You put one on every finger and you get like that. That's what the shortbread cookie on the bottom of this tastes like. And it goes wonderfully with this gray stuff mousse and this red velvet cake. This is delightful. I need to share it with people tonight but normally I probably wouldn't. This is great. Okay, more treats, more snacks. I don't know who comes up with these, but somebody's got a wonderful job where they just sit around and think of, hey, let's try this crazy new thing to eat. So here we have the Galactic Parfait. It's beautiful. It looks like the galaxy. Um, this is what I'm told is chocolate cake with blue cheesecake. I love that. It's not a flavor. It's just a color of cheesecake. Um, mousse, a purple mousse, and a um, and a, a raspberry marmalade. Like, you weren't seeing that coming, and neither was I, but we're going to taste it. That is not natural. Okay. Really good. The cheesecake is good. I love cheesecake anyway. I gotta get a little deeper here to get, oh, there's some purple mousse there. All right, so this is not bad. What is this thing? A chocolate ball. That's good. This thing's really sweet, like sickly sweet. It almost hurts my teeth, but it's really good. Give this to your kids and then give your kids to your grandparents. It's really good, it's just really, really sweet. If you like this, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, join us. Join us on all the social medias, at SCFADP. And don't forget to download our podcast every Monday. In fact, subscribe to wherever you like to get your podcasts, and they'll come to you automatically. We, we release them every Sunday night. Yes. We love Disney. We love y'all. And as always, we'll see, see you real soon. soon.